what if you actually forgot to put a name field on your Google Form quiz and didn't check the collect email address checkbox in the settings? Is there any fix for that? Um, I did a little Google search and it turns out a handful of educators have committed the same mistake. And in the Google Classroom Help Community Forum, there was a response posted that unfortunately, there's really no way to retroactively determine which responses belong to which user. Um, but I've been trying to find a workaround for this issue and yes, I actually found a way. And if this is you, then please keep watching. I had to create a mock quiz to try and find a way to solve this problem. Um, after several hours of trial and error, I actually found a way that works. Um, in this example, you can see that there is no name field allotted for the student to type in their name nor email address. Um, so I went ahead and previewed the quiz as a student would and answered all the required questions before I clicked submit. As you can see, this is what the linked Google spreadsheet will look like if there was no name field allotted in the Google Form quiz. The first column will be the timestamp, followed by the score, and then all the answers for the quiz. The following steps that I will show you could be the one workaround that could save your life. Go back to the quiz Google Form and click the gear icon. In the General tab, check the Edit After Submit and hit Save. Now, edit your Google Form quiz and add in a name field as the first question. In this video, I just imported the name field question from one of my previous quizzes and then dragged it up top so it's the first question. Your students can now see that there is an edit your response link in their Google Form quiz. You can go ahead and give them an instruction to edit their response and type in their names in the name field you just added and click submit again. Ta-da! A new name field column is now generated in the new linked spreadsheet. But here's a valid question. What if your students change their previously wrong answers and correct them as they edit in their names? No worries. If they try and edit an answer, Google Forms will actually bookmark a response that has been changed so cheating will not be an issue here. You can see tiny triangular folds on the upper right corner of each of the answer value that has been edited. And when you hover your mouse pointer over the bookmarked value, it will display a message that the responder updated this value. This means that a change has been made from the previously submitted form. That was it guys. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!